The mind is like a mirror. We're the self. And we're seeing the world and we're seeing ourselves through the mirror of our mind. We all have the experience, Tom, that when we're agitated, nothing really looks good anymore. <laughs> and when we're in a really good mood, kind of everything looks good. Yes. When you're in a good mood, the trees look so sweet. And when you're in a very bad mood, you, know, you just couldn't care less about the trees. <laughs> so we're seeing ourself as a reflection through the mirror of the mind. And we're seeing the whole world in a similar way. The purpose of the mirror is to see ourself. But when the mirror is covered by layers and layers of dust and dirt and debris, that's all we see is that dust and dirt and debris. Selfishness, arrogance, envy, which creates depression, anger, greed, illusion, fear. <laughs> These are all things that have collected in our minds and they're so much directing our lives, our words and our actions, and we're identifying so much with it. When we have obsessive greed, we're thinking, if I get more and more and more, I will be happy. It may be fame, it may be money, it may be power and control over others. When we have this envy, then we're thinking by pushing somebody else down, I'm putting myself up. So all of these symptoms of this false ego are like the dust and dirt of the mind. And when we're meditating, when we're chanting God's names, it's a process of cleaning the mirror of the mind to actually become free from these unwanted things. And then from our very mind, when it's clean, we see our true self. And we see the true equality of all living beings. And we see the beauty of nature inherently. Everything's changing. You know, we're born, we exist for some time, we grow, we may produce offsprings, but then inevitably we grow old and we die. And that's just the way nature is in this world. But we see the inherent eternal essence within ourselves and within everything. And we try, we, we live with sadhachar. When we make that connection through our meditation, through our prayer, through our spiritual practice, and our mind becomes clean, then we live with character. We live with values. That's the greatest need in the world, the value of compassion, the character of integrity. There's, there's so much poverty in India. There's so much poverty in Los Angeles. There's poverty everywhere. It's, it's not just because of environmental problems. It's because of the way humans are living. We're creating so many of the environmental problems, and we're creating so much of poverty. If we have compassion, if we really care about each other deeply, then each and every one of us, whoever we are, we could make a difference. And that's, that's a life of values. Whether we make a big difference or whether we make a tiny little difference, doesn't make any difference. What really makes the difference is we're doing what we can with the value of compassion in our life. And then we're really contributing something wonderful. And our life becomes wonderful to the degree we contribute something wonderful with love. <laughs>